morning everybody or afternoon evening if you're watching this uh, later on on a catch up so today we have our class uh, with more challenging options remember it's their options so if you want to work um, at your own level a little bit less that's absolutely up to you and today we're going to be as well as our normal stuff we're going to be focusing on mobility of the upper back and also back strengthening so um, why is it important for mobility of your back it's because when you're stretching or moving on a diagonal plane um, if you're not flexible you're not strong there the the strain can go directly into the low back so that's why it's very important particularly if you you play any sport like tennis golf a badminton anything like that again you've got this diagonal movement so if you've got no mobility there once you stretch and lean it goes straight into the low back so a little bit about that today um, it is challenging options, so um, if you've got some light weights or a couple of uh, cans of beans or something like that, that will, again, uh, give you a little bit more of a challenge, but also because we're focusing on back strengthening, it will give you a little bit more um, intensity there. And of course, we're going to be using the exercise bands. Um, you've got, um, I'm sure most of you have got one. You've got lots of different levels. The, the black one is the most, it's the strongest, if you like. A lot of my guys like to use that one. Um, then you've got blue, a bit less. Then you've got red and then you've got yellow. So lots of choices there. And you can always wind them up a little bit more um, if you want to work a little bit harder or less and so forth. Okay, so grips, um, if you need them, your mat, my space, uh, aerated room, and of course your water. Good, okay, so let's get started uh, with our normal Warm up, neutral spine position. Remember three points of connection in the spine, chin retracted, open the chest, shoulder base back and down. Try not to push that lower back out, lengthen, draw the abdominals in, check your knee alignment. Okay, up onto the toes, breathing in, breathing out, draw the abdominals in, hinge the hips back, but don't push that low back out, no overarching, lengthen, draw the abdominals in, rolling forwards nice and slowly and relaxing the upper body no tension in the, the neck head shoulders arms floppy arms keep the abdominals contracted and straighten the legs just enough so you start to get a little bit of a stretch there in the back of the legs good breathing in breathing out draw the abdominals in again so think tummy button sucking it through to the spine rolling up without the knees rolling in tuck the chin in all the way back and of course if you're using the activation band just push out a little bit to activate a little bit more buttock muscles pelvic floor okay up onto the toes breathing in breathing out hinge the hips back tuck the chin in opening the shoulder blades rolling forwards one vertebra at a time so no tension in the upper body just relax keep the abdominals in to support your back hinge the hips back and straighten the legs just so you get a bit of a warm-up stretch there nothing too much and then slowly roll up breathing in breathing out tuck the chin in all the way back up good fantastic so feet hip distance apart check your knee alignment so again push out a little bit if you're using the band open up the chest chin retracted core muscles engaged so lengthening through the spine arms slightly behind your chin retracted and just start to roll uh, those shoulder joints forwards up back and down keeping your posture so these are isolations you're just moving the shoulder joints obviously the arms move a little bit but try not to lift the elbows on this one breathing in and out good lift that rib cage draw the abdominals in squeeze the shoulder blades together breathing in make sure you draw the shoulders down when you come back as well so we're lengthening the back of the neck keep the chin retracted breathing in and out good stretching up now remember lead with the hands keep the shoulders down elbows back breathing out abdominals in reaching up all the way back so remember to engage your core pelvic floor bustle muscles breathing in holding it there elbows level with ears breathing out draw the abdominals in so when you draw the abdominals in you should feel that core connection front to back reaching up and then reach one arm up a little bit more. Draw the abdominals in at the same time. So again, you're connecting 
your abdominals to your back muscles. Good, and all the way back. Arms behind you, shrug the shoulders and relax. So I'm going through this little, uh, the first section a little bit quicker than normal because I'm sure you all know what you're doing here. Breathing in, breathing out, and then keeping the arms behind you, just going into your stretch from your upper back. Abdominals in. Remember, if, it's ever, if any of the exercises are uncomfortable in the low back, bend the knees a little bit more, take the legs a little bit wider, tuck the hips under a little bit, and that will take that pressure off the lower back if that's a bit of an issue. Stretching, stretching. Good, all right, holding it there. Moving head forwards and back, gently. Breathing in, draw that chin down. Keeping your upper body, or the rest of the body, absolutely still, so it's an isolation. And focusing on drawing the chin back rather than pushing the head forwards. It's just trying to loosen up uh, the neck. Breathing in, breathing out. Lift the chin up, chin to the chest. Keeping your core muscles, keeping your alignment. So just the head and neck moving. Breathing in, breathing out. Go back to the centre, jaw to the ceiling, shoulder down. Breathing in, breathing out, other side, shoulder down. Good, breathing in, breathing out. Slowly, and back, chin retracted, turn the head to the side, don't arch the back, draw the abdominals in, breathing in, breathing out, rolling the head, just the head and neck. Try and keep the shoulders facing the front, so you're not moving. So shoulders just moving the head and the neck, but try and get that head round, a little bit further as the weeks go on. Good, breathing in, breathing out. Excellent, head back to the center. Relax the ear to the shoulder, add your arm in, breathing in, breathing out. Up and over with the head, keep the shoulder down, stretching, lengthening. Good, and then the other one. Breathing in, breathing out. Stretch and lengthen. Good, hands behind the head, chin retracted. Bring the chin to the chest, head forwards, draw those abdominals in. Feel that stretch in the upper back. Good, and back. So we're going into our inner thigh stretches and our hip flexor stretch. So I'm going to give the option today um, to add in your band or, or your weights. Uh, in a minute. You can use the weights if you want to, otherwise just um, put the band around here for the minute. Um, so when we go into our hip flexor, we're going to add some arms and back muscle exercises in. So remember to sink the hips back. Good, breathe in, breathe out the abdominals, shoulder blades back and down. That's it. Remember to keep your posture, your three points of connection, sinking the hips back. Try not to let the thigh and knee go forwards lengthening that lumbar spine and keeping the shoulder blades back and down. So if it's an issue, keep the arms here. Remember to keep the chin retracted. Try not to let your upper body flop forwards because then the strain goes into the low back. Breathing in, breathing out. Good. Breathing in, breathing out. Nice and slowly. All right, you're going to hold it one side. Take the leg a little bit wider. Sink the hips back. Turn the feet out slightly, so we're just getting a little bit more of a stretch there in the inner thigh. Posture, abdominals. Good, bring the legs back in. Just switch to the other side. Keep the knee alignment here. Turn the feet out. Sink down a bit lower if you want to. It's up to you. Feeling that stretch in the inner thigh here. If you're not feeling a stretch there, you might want to take the hips a bit lower. You might want to take the feet out a little bit more. Um, it's up to you. Uh, back. Okay, so we're going to switch to the side um, for our hip flexor stretch and then we're going to add in either the weights or the band, optional if you want to. So switch to the side, back nice and straight. So we're going to squat down, tip the pelvis under to activate the hip flexor. So optional arms here, stretch the arms up. If you're using the band, you want to just stretch the band apart just so we get a little bit more resistance there. Elbows level with the ears, so this should activate your back muscles. Breathing in, breathing out. So tip the pelvis under, lift the chest up, 
stretch the arms up from the shoulder blade so you want elbows level with the ears and we're going to take it over to the side good breathing in breathing up and over tip the pelvis under so we're activating the hip flexor okay so this time we're stretching across so the arm that's nearest the floor you're going to hold it there and then just lower it a little bit so this activates your back muscles so breathing in breathing out abdominals in so either use the weights here um, or your band good up to the other side over good keep the arms slightly behind you shoulder blades back and down good and then up lift the chest up and back stretch the band apart a little bit and then draw the abdominals in so you're going to feel it more in the core and the abdominals on the back if you're adding in a little bit more resistance um, with the band or the weights here good switch sides good tip the pelvis under hip flexor add the arms in elbows level with the ears breathing in breathing out tip the pelvis under stretching up stretch the bands apart arms slightly behind your elbows level with the ears up and across and then just take that arm that's nearest the floor up and down a couple of times keeping the arm behind you draw the abdominals in so working those back muscles breathing in breathing out and then up to the center up and back stretch the band apart draw the abdominals in shoulder blades back and down as you reach up add a bit more resistance with the band if you want to so it just gives you a little bit more total body core activation there okay pop the band down so we're going to go into a normal front of the thigh stretch knees level breathing in breathing out tip the pelvis under draw the abdominals in chin retracted keeping your posture there and then hold the foot with both hands if you're able to breathing in breathing out tip the pelvis under good and change sides and knees level breathing in breathing out shoulder blades back and down three points of connection tip the pelvis under heel in towards the hip good hold the foot with both hands if you can tip the pelvis under good fantastic okay back to the center so as promised we can do a little bit of mobility for the upper body as i said which is really really important for any leaning sideways any sports um a racket sport type things uh, because if you're not flexible in your upper back or you're not strong you're not keeping your core your posture um then you could the, the strain goes into the low back so very important okay so arms out to the side breathing in breathing out chin retracted keep the arms slightly behind you draw the abdominals in shoulder blades back and down so you're activating your core muscles all right and we're just going to rotate side to side so keep the feet knees and hips facing the front now we're just moving the chest Tr try not to move the arms on their own just the chest that's it breathing in breathe out abdominals keep the chin retracted just moving to the chest so the arms move but only because you're moving your chest try not to let it's quite difficult actually not to let the arms move at all so breathing in breathing out so i want you to turn the head towards the arm that's coming forwards shoulder blades back and down so we're really working on that mobility we're working on shoulder blade stabilization here breathing in breathing out good so this time you're going to hold it just take the arms back again to remind yourself shoulder blades back and down a little pulsing action backwards get those back muscles working now here i want you to stretch a little bit more stretch one arm and the other stretch from the spine turn the fingers backwards good so your, your little pulsing action leading with the wrist forwards and back so you're getting a nice stretch through the arms through the wrists and relax and i would just do that the other side so arms out good turning the other way arms back a little bit more abdominals in little pulsing action backwards this time turn the head that way pulsing action backwards abdominals in shoulder blades back and down and then really stretch make sure the arms are behind you stretch from the spine turn the fingers out that way so you're getting a nice stretch in the wrist little pulsing action pulsing action good and relax okay so we're going to go straight into our squat section 
So we're going to do lunges today and then we're going to add in some back work. Um, so grab your exercise band um, or your grips if you want to, grips or weights even, <laughs> um, and then we're going to go into lunges or split squats they're called, but we're going to work up back muscles as well. So just to, to, to recap, our split, split squats or lunges, you keep your back nice and straight, you step, squat and back. Okay, now you can take a little step um, or a big step. If you have any knee issues, keep it nice and small. If you want to work a little bit harder, obviously bigger step, squat and back, making sure that knee doesn't continue. And you just step, sort of stop really, squat and back. Okay, so what we're going to do with the arms, we're going to uh, do our lat pull downs, if you like, so it works the back muscles. So you've got two choices here, arms or weights up, elbows level with your ears or slightly behind you. As we go into a squat, we're going to bring the arms back and down, so working those back muscles, lats, shoulder blades back and down. If you find when you do this, it makes your head come forwards, and you're not very mobile, flexible there. You can always do this bringing the, 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 the weights or the bands in front of you as long as you've got the shoulder blades back and down, same thing. Okay, so here we go. Elbows level with the ears. So step, a big step, little step up to you, stop. As you squat down, you're going to bring the arms here or here. Okay, and then push back. So we're swapping legs each time. Step, stop, squat, and back so you can do a tiny movement if you want to like this work at your own level take a bigger step if you want to you know, just making sure you're not continuing with the knee you need to step stop and squat and back okay there we go if you're not feeling it much in the back muscles you want to work a bit harder roll the band up a little bit more grab a heavier weight up to you and then you can speed that up a little bit if you want to Keep the chin retracted, don't let the chin come forwards. Speed it up a little bit, go a bit lower if you want to, as long as the hips don't go lower than the knees. That's it, abdominals in, shoulder blades back and down, chin retracted. Maybe you can bring it here if you prefer, or you can mix it up. There, back, there, and back. Good, do a few more if you want to, so I hope you felt uh, those back muscles working. Okay, uh, pop your band down and we'll just go into Finish off with our deeper stretches. So arms out in front, right over left. Remember if you can't really get that position, um, just stretch the arm across for your shoulder stretch up to you. So lock the elbows if you can, push the elbows away, open the shoulder blades and take the forearms further forward. Feel that stretch in the upper back, top of the shoulders. Good, and then the other one. So left over right, or just take the arm across, up to you. Push the elbows away. Open the shoulder blades. And extend the forearms further forward. Good, open up the chest, arms behind you. Interlace the fingers if you can. Stretch the arms up. If you're not able to, to clasp the hands together, you can always take the hands um, on the hips there and open up that way. Up to you. Okay, breathing in, breathing out, stretch. There. Good, fantastic. All right, time to take your shoes off. Uh, grab some water. And let's get ready to go down onto our mats. Again, remember, working at your own level, more challenging options coming up, or if you have a favorite exercise, you might want to do like push-ups we did that um, in the week i think or last week just add that in it's entirely up to you okay so feet hip distance apart posture up onto the toes breathing in breathing out hinge the hips back abdominals in remember don't push the, the don't over arch the back there you need to lengthen it rolling down one vertebra at a time good this time you hold that position Check your knee alignment. So either hold the floor if you're already there. If you can't quite reach the floor, hands on the legs somewhere that's comfortable. Bend your knees, breathing in, breathing out, straightening the legs. Hinge the hips back. Once you feel a stretch there, 
in the calves, back of the thighs, hold it for a few seconds. Bend and straighten, you should find your hands getting closer to the floor. Bend and straighten as your calves, thighs, buttocks and lower back gently stretch out. Good, alternate, bend one straight and the other. Really push that leg back so you get that deeper stretch, breathing in, breathing out. Still lengthening the lumbar spine, draw the abdominals in. Bend and straighten. Okay, turn the toes inward. Bend and straighten for our deeper stretches. Bend the knees, breathing in, breathing out. Straighten, alternating. Bend one, straighten the other. Turn the feet out. Again, bend and straighten. Alternate. Good. Feet back to the front. Take the left leg out in front of you. Draw the abdominals in. Chin retracted. Shoulder blades back and down. Hold the end of the foot if you can reach. If you can't, don't worry. Keep the hands on the legs. Stretch the toes back and turn the foot inwards and outwards. Good. Get that deeper stretch in the bottom muscles. Swap legs. Flex the foot back. Breathing in, breathing out. Great. Okay, so walk your hands forward. Into your downward dog stretch. Remember, if it's uncomfortable at all, please do this on your knees. Okay, so walk the hands forward. Use the grips if you need to. I find them a bit slippy on here. Um, okay, so shoulder blades back and down, stretching back, stretch that spine, but draw the abdominals in at the same time. Up onto the toes and back down. Breathing in, breathing out, and then alternating. Bend one knee, straighten the other. Good, okay, so all you're gonna do here is walk the hands back towards the feet, and then forwards again. So you're just moving the body, you're working the whole body here, okay, just by moving forwards and backwards. No particular technique, just keep those abdominals in. Forwards and back. Obviously you can do this, just do this on your knees, um, if you're having trouble uh, with this exercise. So up to you. Okay, so then come forwards into your plank. Have the feet comfortable distance apart to give you support. Chin retracted, shoulder blades back and down, coming forwards into your plank. Using the grips if you need to, to help your wrists. And of course, the important thing is not to let the hips drop. Abdominals in, shoulder blades back and down. And then we're going to go back. Forwards and back, abdominals in, back and forwards. So shoulder blades back and down, abdominals in. Taking your head a little bit further forwards if you want to. All right, so we're going to hold this position. Obviously, you can come onto your knees um, if you prefer. So trying to keep your plank position, try not to let your hips stick up in the air. It's quite difficult. Draw the abdominals in and you're going to walk the feet around to the right, and then walk the feet around to the left. And because you're moving your body, you're probably gonna feel this working. Um, different muscles in the arms, and also your back muscles. Keep the shoulder blades back and down. Dominoes in, we're working through the core as well. Um, if you've got the activation band, you can take a bigger step. That's it. Okay, so we're gonna hold it here. Take the feet nice and wide. I'm just gonna take my hands onto the mat. So I'm going to give you a challenging option here if you want to. So feet nice and wide to support you in this position. Again, you can keep the knees on the mat. I'll show you what we're going to do with the knees on the mat. So you're going to take your right hand off the mat and touch your left shoulder and then the left one. I'll just do it this way around. So if you're here, okay, so we're strengthening our shoulders, our, our back muscles one and then the other. So if you're, at, if you're happy to do that from your plank position, here, abdominals in, make sure your core is strong and take one arm off. Touch the opposite shoulder, draw the abdominals in. That's it. There, there. Good. All right, and relax. Do a few more if you want to and then stretch back, sit back on your heels, arms stretched out in front of you. Relax your back. Relax your arms. Good inch of child's pose stretch if you want to. 
to lengthen your lower back there. In through the nose, out through the mouth, deep breathing here. Relaxing your back, relax your head on the mat. If you're able to, if not, just find a, a comfortable position. Let's just let your, your lower back lengthen and stretch. Good, okay, coming up on all fours and we're going into our cat stretch. Again, rounding the shoulders, draw the abdominals in, breathing in. Breathing out, lift the chest, lengthen through the spine, shoulder face back and down, abdominals in, don't let the lower back arch too much and don't let the chin lift too much. It's all about your upper back and your shoulder blades. Rounding. Excellent. Okay, roll over. So we're going to go into our rolling down position, um, but you're going to need uh, your weights or your exercise band. Um, and we're going to do something a little bit different because the focus today is on strengthening uh, the back muscles. Okay, so check your positioning. Just do maybe a couple of our rolling down at your own level, rolling all the way back if you want to. Stretching, remember squeezing the buttock muscles, abdominals in as you come back up, keeping it tiny movement if you want to. Work at your own level here, breathing in, breathing out, abdominals in. You always take one leg off the mat to strengthen one side more than the other. So we've done this numerous times. I'm sure you know what to do. Just squeeze the buttock muscles, draw the abdominals in. Rolling back a little bit, a little bit further. Just keep the abdominals in, squeeze the buttock muscles. Okay, so we're going to do some variations um, for your back muscles by adding in either, either your, 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 your light weights um, or your band here. So you've got to make sure the band is secure around the feet. Try not to let this happen. The, the toes drop and then you lose your band. Okay, so make sure you keep the feet flexed, if you like, and then you'll so the band is secure okay so what i want you to do first of all is you can either tie the band up actually i know some of you do um or keep the weights together or hold hold the band in both hands like this okay and we're going to do some rowing okay so keep the back nice and straight to try not to roll down it's just the positioning breathing in breathing out bend the elbows bring the hands towards the chest shoulder blades back and down and it's like a rowing action. So bring the, ha the, the hands together, concentrate on your back muscles, abdominals in. And that's it, bring them together there. And then we're gonna take them back like that. So you're opening up a little bit more. So concentrate on the back muscles. For this one, you're keeping your back nice and straight. We're not in that position. Breathing in, breathing out. Squeeze the shoulder base back and down. Add more resistance if you want to from here. And while we're in this position, we're going to do a little bit with the back of the arms, triceps and biceps, because a lot of my clients ask me for this. So elbows tucked in, and you do one side at a time into your bicep, breathing in, breathing out, push the elbow in, bring the hand up to the shoulder, breathing in, breathing out. Again, add more resistance if you want to. Keep the abdominals in. And then the other side, breathing in, breathing out. So I mean, do, do about 10, 12 of these if you want to. And then we can go into um, our triceps. So bring the, the hand back to the hip and extend the arm that way. So you're keeping your back nice and straight. There, back of the arms, breathing in, breathing out. Again, add the, wind the band up a little bit more if you want to, and you can sort of do up to, up to 10, 12, it's up to you, breathing in, or if you find you're fatiguing a little bit earlier, do a bit less, but the important thing is that you're not lifting the shoulder, that's it there, breathing in, breathing out, I hope you can feel that in the, um, in the back of the arm, there, good, okay, so that's what we call upright rows, if you like, or rowing, uh, for your back muscles there, Good, hug the knees, nice deep breath in and out. Good, all right, roll back down. So we're gonna go into our swimming, opposite arm and opposite leg. Um, and again, if you want a little bit more focus uh, on strengthening your shoulders and back, 
you can add your weights in here or if you prefer if you've got a pair of grips just a little bit holding the grips here just gives you a little bit more focus um, on your back muscles so if you are here arms up in the air and you're taking one arm back breathing in breathing out keeping the shoulder blade pressed into the back so it's up to you you've got the choice there or add your baked bean cans if you want to there, stretching the important thing is not to lift the shoulder first keep the shoulder blades pressed into the mat and then you're stretching back from there of course neutral spine position breathing in breathing out stretching back breathing in breathing out and then adding the opposite leg in but making sure that you're lengthening the lumbar spine drawing the abdominals in as you're doing it as you get to the end point Point the toe flex foot, stretch the arm and leg, and back, breathing in, breathing out, stretch and lengthen. As I said, the focus today is strengthening uh, your back muscles. So if you want a little bit more in the back and the shoulders, add your light weights in here. Breathing in, breathing out, both arms back. Good. Both arms out to the side, stretching. Lengthening, breathing in, breathing out. Keep the chin retracted. Good, and then of course coming up into your tabletop position. Bearing in mind whether you bring the legs up or not, it's about keeping that neutral spine position. There's no point in trying to work the abdominals harder by lifting the legs up. If your back is too arch, because then you're not engaging the abdominals, you're actually training them to stick out rather than to flatten. So just remember that, breathing in, breathing out. So you're flattening the abdominals, pressing your spine towards the mat, breathing in, breathing out. So working at your own level, taking the legs parallel with the floor, keep the chin retracted. So lots of options here, one arm back, both arms back, both arms out to the side. And because we've been focusing on our back muscles today, it's good actually to focus on the chest, and we've done a little bit of that anyway uh, with our plank. But if you take the arms out to the side like this, and then you bring the elbows together, you're working the chest muscles. Okay, so try and add that in if you want to. I'll just do it this way around. So this is what we're doing with the arms. That's it, so working the chest. So we're here, breathing in, breathing out, keep the neck nice and long. Lead with the elbows, draw the abdominals in, and then you can add in your leg action as well. So we're working the chest here. We've been working the back muscles, so this is chest. There, just another variation. And then extending fully, if you want to. There, breathing in, breathing out. So if you're doing this one, make sure you're not sort of doing it like that. If you can, lead with the elbows and you'll get more contraction there in the chest breathing in breathing out okay hands behind the head and just go into our mountain climber if you want to and remember with your mountain climber you don't have to take the head off the mat if you don't want to you've just got to close that rib cage make sure your back isn't arching okay so up to you breathing in breathing out speed it up a little bit if you want to making sure the hips are not coming off the mat relax your head back into your hands that's it okay then we're just going to do a few um, abdominal curls if you don't want to do abdominal curls take the hands behind you and just continue right, with that sort of exercise i've done that before with you okay so curling up first of all Breathing in, breathing out. Flatten the abdominals, leading with the chest. Then you can have the feet on the mat. Feet in tabletop. Or legs up in the air. Breathing in, breathing out. Now if you've got the legs up in the air, as you draw the abdominals in, stretch the legs up a little bit further. Breathing in, breathing out. So it's up to you here how hard you work. Breathing in. Breathing out. Uh, and if you do, if you if you if you do want more of a challenge, we've done our, our split leg position. 
Same thing, if it's uncomfortable. And on the low back, obviously, don't do it. Breathing in, breathing out. It's very challenging. And then you can speed that up a little bit if you want to. That's it. Okay, then we're going to go diagonal. So we're working the oblique muscles. So you're curling across diagonally. Again, work at your own level. The most important thing is your neutral spine position. So you can curl up with the feet on the mat. Just draw those abdominals in. You can feel it on the side of the waist here. Breathing in, breathing out. Uh, feet in tabletop. Up to you. Legs up in the air. Again, diagonal, stretching the legs up a little bit more. If you don't want to lift the head off the mat, uh, remember you can do this exercise just by stretching the leg up and you'll feel those oblique muscles working, breathing in, breathing out, lengthening. So you can do that and you don't have to lift the head off the mat. I've always got options there. That's it, otherwise coming across, breathing in, Breathing out, feel those muscles on the side of the waist. Breathing in, breathing out, curling up. Take the hands away if you want to. Point the toes, flex the feet. So as you're pulsing, try and lift the legs up towards the ceiling, drawing the abdominals in without letting the hips come up. That's it, pulsing, abdominals, good. All right, and relax. Excellent. All right, knees into the chest. Circle the hips round, one way and the other way. And then we're going out into our spine stretch, breathing in, breathing out. Draw the abdominals in, legs across, turn the head the other way, keeping the shoulder blades pressed into the mat. Breathing in, breathing out. Nice and slowly, but draw the abdominals in. Although your hip and back come off the mat, make sure you're not arching. Still keep your neutral spine position. So drawing the abdominals in, breathing in, breathing out. Good. All right, feet back on the mat. Hands down by your side. Just relax the arms, relax the shoulders. And roll your head side to side. And up and down. Good, okay, so roll over onto your side. So we're gonna do a little side lying. And we're gonna do hip circles today. So it's good for the legs, good for the buttock muscles, um, good for strengthening the muscles around uh, your pelvis. So as, as usual, you can lie down on your hands, bent or straight, or on head on the board. And again, you can do this with the activation band or not. It's quite challenging with the activation band, obviously. Okay, so stretch the legs out, so body in a straight line. Make sure you're not pushing that low back out. Draw the abdominals in, lengthen the lumbar spine, breathing in, breathing out, and lift that leg up and down. If you still find it pulling on your low back, which is very important, take both legs a little bit further forwards so you're not compressing that low back. So up to you. Breathing in, breathing out, lengthening that leg, point the toe, flex the foot, draw the abdominals in. So you're going to feel the buttock muscles working. Uh, you've got the option here, of course, if you want to work a little bit harder. Your bottom leg doesn't have to rest on the mat. It's up to you. Breathing in, breathing out, up to you. Point the toe, flex the foot, adjust the band if you need to. Obviously, if you haven't got the band, you'll be able to lift that leg a little bit higher. It does really work, the legs and the buttock muscles with the activation band. Okay, we're gonna hold it in that position. And then we're just gonna do small circles. Draw those abdominals in, stretch the leg, and small circles with that leg. Again, if you've got the activation band, it's really challenging. But remember, strong buttock muscles support your lower back, help with your knee alignment, as I'm always going on about. It's important to isolate the buttock muscles and the hips there. So it's good for mobility in the hips. Circle the other way as well. 
circle in. Good, lift the leg a little bit higher and we'll just do double time, point the toe, flex the foot, lengthening. Good. And relax. All right, roll over the other way. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So rest your head on your arm, bend or straight or the ball, body in a straight line, lengthening your body. Still, you've got still got your three points of connection in the spine. Lumbar spine length and breathing in, breathing out. So just lift and lower the leg first of all. Point the toe, flex the foot. Again, if you want to work harder, bottom leg just comes off the mat. If it's uncomfortable on the low back, bring the legs a little bit further forwards so you're not compressing uh, that lower back. Okay, so you're going to hold it with the leg off the floor. And we're going to go into our hip circles. Draw the abdominals in, shoulder blades back and down. Small controlled circle. No point in doing this like this. <laughs> it's small and controlled. So you're working the muscles around the hip joint. Remember that strengthens your hips, support your lower back, and strong bustic muscles um, also support your knee alignment. So very important. Circling the other way, work at your own level if it's too much. Um, give the leg a little bit of a rest. It's quite challenging, but it's very challenging if you've got the activation band. So abdominals in, small circles. Again, you can lift the bottom leg off the mat if you want more of a challenge. Lift the leg a little bit higher and just a little pulsing action. Point the toe, flex the foot. Good. Whew. Okay, and relax. All right, roll over. <coughs> and we're gonna finish off with our stretches um, in a minute and relaxation. So first of all, just bring the knees into the chest, turn the, the knees out, grab your ankles, draw the feet in towards you just to relax those hips there. Breathing in, breathing out. Good, fantastic. All right, take the activation band away if you've got it on. And we're gonna go into our back stretch, low back stretch first, and then our final stretches and relaxation. So stay there a minute, I'm just going to put our music on <clears throat> for our stretching and relaxation. That's it. Okay, so low back stretch first. <clears throat> Very important. You're lengthening that low back if you've got any niggles there. So big stretch up, both arms up, both legs out. Lengthening through the whole of the body, point your toes, flex the feet, bring the left knee in towards the chest, grab the back of the thigh, draw the leg in as far as it's comfortable and press your low back into the mat. Breathing normally, hold it for a few seconds, 10 seconds or more if you want, and relax, stretch out again, point the toes, flex the feet, bring the other leg in, press your lower back into the mat, Curl up a bit more if you want, if you want more stretch there. Good, and one more each side. Curl up if you want to, point the toes, flex the feet, draw the abdominals in, press your lower back into the mat. Good, stretch, lengthen. Breathing in, breathing out. Good, fantastic. Okay, so into our final stretches and relaxation. So grab your activation band or one of your rubber bands, whatever you've got handy. And then we'll focus on our stretching and then our relaxation. So wrap the band around your left foot. Now up to you how much resistance you add in here. Remember it's, it's resistance just to give you a little bit more of a stretch, that's all. Got the leg lengthened out along the mat, as long as you can keep your neutral spine position. Draw those abdominals in, point the toes and flex the feet. Breathing in as you point, breathing out as you flex. And then work on straightening the leg a little bit more as the weeks go on. Maybe drawing the leg back a little bit further, as long as you're keeping neutral spine. Level pelvis, hips on the mat. Good, all right, hold that stretch there. Turn the toes back a little bit more if you can, and then turn the foot inwards and outwards. Good, 
good. And I just want you to circle the foot round. That's just good for flexibility of the ankle, one way and the other. Great, all right, hold the band in one hand. Take the left leg over to the right, let the left hip come off the mat. Keep the foot flexed if you can, that gives you a deeper stretch. In the bottom muscle, outer thigh. And move that leg forwards and backwards. Good, all right, bring the leg back, swap hands. This time you need to keep the pelvis level and on the mat. Keep the foot flexed, take the left leg out to the left, flex the foot and move that leg forwards and backwards. Remember to turn the leg out slightly so you really do feel that stretch in the inner thigh. Good, all right, bring the leg back. We do the same thing on the other leg. So wrap the band around your right foot, flex the foot back, left leg out along the mat, point the toes, flex the feet, use the band to add a little bit more stretch there. As long as you're keeping your neutral spine position, abdominals in, level pelvis, point the toes, flex the feet, you can stretch the leg on the floor as well, point and flex. Good, hold the foot in the flex position and turn the leg inwards and outwards. So you're feeling a deeper stretch through the bust muscles. And then circle the foot round. One way and the other way. This is just the foot you're circling, just the ankle. That's it, hold the band in one hand, take the right leg now over to your left, keep the foot flexed, right hips coming off the mat. And move that leg forwards and backwards. Great. All right, bring the leg back, swap hands. Take the right leg out to the right, keep the pelvis on the mat this time, flex the foot and move that leg forwards and backwards. Good, all right, bring the leg back and finish off with your hip stretch. Left foot on the bent right knee, level pelvis. Turn that hip out to the side. And the other one. Great. Okay, so we're going into our final uh, relaxation. Um, so lying on your back, over into your child's pose stretch if you want to. Just one touch there. Help. Okay. So lying on your back into your child's post stretch. Up to you. So focusing on relaxing all the muscles first. So relax the neck. Relax the shoulders. Relax the arms. Stretch. And relax, relax your back, relax your legs, relax your hips. So you want no tension in the body anywhere. You can straighten the legs if you want to. Up to you, have the legs apart. Okay. So I want you to focus now on your Pilates breathing. Deep breath in through the nose, ribcage expanding sideways. Hold it for a few seconds, breathing out through the mouth, ribcage closing, again holding it for a few seconds, breathing in through the nose, ribcage expanding, hold it, and deep breath, long slow breath out through the mouth, ribcage closing, holding it for a few seconds. Okay, so repeat that sequence in your own time. Remember, deep breaths in through the nose, long, slow breath out through the mouth, so your breathing is longer, your relaxation. Pilates, thoracic breathing, so rib cage expanding as you breathe in, closing as you breathe out. And then build up on that by holding the breaths, breaths, breaths a little bit longer at the end of each, uh, breathing in and out, which will help you slow your breathing down. 
and go into more of a state of relaxation. So you can straighten the legs if you want to. Just make sure you've got no tension anywhere in the arms, the whole body. Breathing in through the nose. Long, slow breath out through the mouth. Slowing that breathing down. So you're going into a state of relaxation. Come back up, so if you straighten your legs, bend your knees, roll over, you can always stay down into relaxation, obviously a lot longer uh, if you want to. So come back up on all fours, into our cat stretch as we did earlier, lengthening the spine, shoulder face back and down, rounding, and then coming up into downward dog stretch, stretch the arms, Stretch your shoulders, stretch your shoulder blades back and down. Now lengthening the spine, no arching the back. Try and stretch the heels down towards the mat and then alternate. Breathing in, breathing out, followed by your back stretch. Try and straighten the leg. Good, bend the knees a little bit, walk the hands back up towards the feet and slowly roll up on vertebra at a time. <coughs> Great, all right, back to your start position. Everything relaxed, just roll those shoulders. Forwards up, back and down. Coming up, breathing in, breathing out, stretch. Hands behind the head, tuck the chin in, head forwards. Feel that stretch in the upper back, back of the neck. And slowly come back up. Okay, that's it for, the, for today. Um, hope you enjoyed that. So just to recap what we've done today, we've done um, quite a bit on back mobility, helping us with our side movements, any sporting activities. We've done some uh, back strengthening, um, and we've also done some hip circles, which is very good for strengthening, obviously your bust muscles mobility in the hip joints as well. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. Any questions, um, please message me, email me, I'll be happy to help. Okay, thank you very much.